Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on factors. A factor is a whole number that divides exactly into a larger whole number. By that we mean that there is no remainder. Example 1. 3 is a factor of 15 because 15 divided by 3 equals 5. We can see that when we divide 15 by 3, we get an answer of 5 with no remainder. We can also write 3 divided into 15 gives us 5. Example 2. 7 is a factor of 42 because 42 divided by 7 equals 6. We can see that when we divide 42 by 7, we get an answer of 6 with no remainder. We can also write 7 divided into 42 gives us 6. Example 3. Is 5 a factor of 60? Justify your answer. 5 is a factor of 60 because 60 divided by 5 equals 12. We can see that when we divide 60 by 5, we get an answer of 12 with no remainder. We can also write 5 divided into 60 goes 12. Example 4. Is 6 a factor of 23? Justify your answer. 6 is not a factor of 23 because 23 divided by 6 equals 3 with a remainder of 5. We can see that when we divide 23 by 6, we get an answer of 3 with a remainder of 5. We can also write 6 divided into 23 gives you 3 with a remainder of 5. More examples. Is 7 a factor of 34? Justify your answer. Solution. 7 divided into 34 goes 4 with a remainder of 6. Hence, 7 is not a factor of 34 because there is a remainder of 6. Find all the factors of 12. Solution. The factors of 12 are those numbers that divide evenly into 12. That is, there is no remainder. The first factor, 12 divided by 1 equals 12. So the first factor is 1. The second factor, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. The second factor is 2. For the third factor, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The third factor is 3. The fourth factor, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So the fourth factor is 4. The fifth factor, 12 divided by 6 equals 2. So the fifth factor is 6. And the sixth factor, 12 divided by 12 equals 1. So the sixth factor is 12. So this video has looked at the idea of factors. And a factor is a number that divides evenly into a larger number. That is, there is no remainder.